What is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, we went to this pyramid. We found a bunch of stuff. Pooh's gone. He's no longer with us. And we are stuck inside of Brick Road's dungeon once again. God damn it. And knowing Brick Road, knowing who he is as a person, he probably made this whole convoluted dungeon just for me to suffer through. That's what I do not appreciate. I do not appreciate the fact that I have to fight scalding coffee cups because one asshole wanted to be the dungeon man. Well, at the very least, the very least these guys are dying right away. One damage. My guy, I bet you you probably put you you probably put your best effort on the terrain and whatnot. But if you're gonna be pumping out enemies as weak as this, then what are you even doing? You can't even call yourself a dungeon man. You know what you are? You're mid. Huh? That's what you are, mid man. Six XP each. Like, come on. My statistics, my statistics show about seventy percent of the people go to the right first. Well, fuck you! I'm going left! You check into this bench, it's just like checking into a hotel. Sorry, what? It's a dungeon's owner's obligation to hire a doctor and a nurse. This man has a whole ass fucking village inside of this tower? You could have at least... At the very least, you could have at least made the song a little bit better, but no. It sounds like ass. I'd rather go back to the monkey caves in this. Even though you can't get up there, you might be able to later. It just feels like a spin the face. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes. Road. Four ropes, there's four presents. Does that count for something? Place an item at the dead end. You are free to take it whenever you want. Brick road. A guy. I don't even know what that does or whatnot. I have so much crap here. What the actual hell? Once the dungeon's built, monsters always start moving in. Brick road. No, these monsters are ass. They suck. They don't do anything. Items that are easy to get are usually disappointing. <laughs> no kidding. Five dollars. That is pretty disappointing. These are like the enemies from the fucking Foresight Department store, are they not? Because like they look so not innocent. They. That worthless photoplasm or whatnot looks like the one- WHY, JEFF?! How- HOW?! How do you take 33 damage against every single one of these guys? These guys are mid! They've done one damage to me so far and you come over here being like, Nah, I'll take 33 for you, Chief. No! I built a bulletin board without a message. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. The rest is greener on the other rope or one of the- Is this the same message? It is the same message. I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, these guys look like they came from the Foresight Department store because they look like- they, they, they just look like it, if I remember correctly. There's nothing more else I could say. Snake inside. I am going to have to start throwing away a lot of these items because they are taking up quite a lot of inventory space right now. But a long way to go, getting some rest and relaxation may save you. I explored the dungeon, why don't you make a pit stop? I wonder why I'm in this restroom right now, just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry, did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous, don't worry. I thought you were just going to end it off with, why am I in this restroom right now? Brick Road. Oh, I hate you, Brick Road. 
fact that you left this bench for me to heal up freely without using any items just makes me want to keep on my healing items just a bit more even though I have literally no space for them whatsoever. This will item at the dead end after you make quite a long walk brick road. Cup of life for noodles. I have quite a lot of them. In fact, I ho I am hogging quite a lot of cup of life and noodles, especially in Escargo Express. I just had the biggest brain idea known to mankind. I don't even care that this costs one dollar. Just if I can call Escargo Express. Yes, pick up some of my stuff immediately. I don't want it. Do I have to stay here? Or can I go outside? I want to see if I can stay inside. Let's see if that works. Hey, I can't stay inside. Let's go. All right. I was able to free up just a little bit of space. Just a little bit. Anyways, not going to lie. Every time people mention the dungeon, man, I thought it was just some dude who I just didn't fucking know. I, I completely forgot that Brick Road was a character. I'm not going to lie. Like... I, I only Brick Road I only remember him obviously from like winters and whatnot but even then like that was so long ago I truly did not know who the hell everyone was talking about when it's like Dungeon Man I was like okay just this other fucking person or whatnot it was just irrelevant and I know I use the word irrelevant a lot but <laughs> He unironically was irrelevant. I don't even remember him that much. I don't even remember what he looks like. Don't be a slacker. If you work hard, you'll get good stuff. Rick Road. I couldn't agree more with the opinion on the left billboard. Rick Road. A super plush bear. I want, I'll take it. I'll take a super plush bear. Oh my god, why are my frames? Why are my frames? Okay, I have no clue where these ropes go to, so I'm gonna just take the- I'm gonna just go up them one by one. See how well that works. Work hard, you don't have time to get burned. Road. Cool, this hole just leads me to nowhere. Well, alley -oop. And this hole doesn't take me anywhere either. Learn from your mistakes, follow this, and you're bound to be successful on Earthbound. Brick Road. How does Brick Road know the existence of Earthbound? Let me ask you that. Bam, bam, just, just your way. This is gonna be an M. This is gonna be a hole full of nothing again, isn't it? Be a hole full of nothing. This is the second floor of my body, Brick Road. What's a dungeon? That's my eternal question. Brick Road. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. Did Brick Road become this whole fucking tower? The hole down below, you don't have to worry about this for now. Did Brick Road like transcend and become this giant ass tower with a face? Put out a bulletin board, but it's probably unnecessary. Cool, $10. So I could go down here, or I could go to the other hole, which is what I'm going to try doing, just to see anything over there that I could find out. Knowing Brick Road, probably not. It's just probably going to be some empty hole that I'll be wasting my time with him, saying like a smart-ass sign, being like, Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You should have learned from your snakes. Aha, fuck you! You have a strong-looking body. Why wouldn't, wouldn't you like to be a dungeon worker? Uh, well, it's not as bad as I thought it would. Still. Should have learned from my mistakes. Should have just been like, well, I don't need to explore the others. Whatever. I just want to leave here as quickly as possible because this music is AIDS. Really do not want to listen to it anymore. Inside the dungeon, flash photography is prohibited. Rick Road. All these signs remind me a lot of Lancer, how he was just like, Hey, I'm not done writing this sign. Signed Lancer. Standing right around. Oh, fucking. 
This gave me a lot of Lancer vibes. This music is one of my greatest accomplishments. Shut up! This cannot be one of your greatest accomplishments. This is ass! There's an item at the dead end that I have been known to be okay, wrong occasionally. Sorry. Dude, if if my computer, if, if I was in recording my desktop audio, I would 100% be blasting Shaboom in my head right now. I would 100% be blasting Shaboom. It smells like flowers here. If you can't smell it, your nose must be stuffy. What do we have over here? Got a pizza! Mamma mia! I'll take it! Dungeon exploration is tough, but it's also fun. I don't know about that, Chief. This isn't this isn't really fun. This is just me walking around everywhere. Got a PSI caramel, a caramel, a caramel, whatever. I don't care. What I don't care how you pronounce it. I'll, I'll take it. There are lots of monsters up there, but don't stress out. Rick Road. This is the third floor. God, every time you say my body, it just sounds weird. And there's mad ducks down there. Fuck off. Mad duck, they can be a nice pet, they stay far away. They're just annoying. That's all they are. Gruff goats. They are they are a really gruff kind of goat. Ha ha, I get it. Well you know what? Your jokes They're not as good as my puns. Your your puns are nowhere as good as my puns. Slimy little pile, he has a bad habit of burping. Slimy little pile can go to hell. Why don't you take a nice little rest here? I have too much items. Fuck. Alright, next person who I fight. I, I, not the PSI caramel. What am I doing? I meant the cup of coffee. Next person who I meant to give it to Jeff. I don't even need to use a stupid bench, no. Next person who I encounter is getting the snake. I don't care who it is. I don't care how much damage it takes. Next person gets the snake. It's just as simple as that. Good job, you finally made it. There's a board up upstairs that says that. Good job, you finally made it. Brick Road. That face is mine, feel free to talk to it. Welcome. Long time no see. Mr. Jeff, we met in winters a long time ago. I'm Brick Road. Dr. Andonuts finally made me dungeon man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Jump in that hole and then walk out. What the fuck did Dr. Andonuts do to him? Return hole, jump in with all your courage. Rick Road. The goodbye exit. Someday you should enter with courage. Um. Okay. Now, should I take this hole? Feel like I shouldn't. Genuinely feel like I shouldn't. But on the other hand, I do have the power of space and time on my hands. In theory, I should be able to get here scot free. IQ capsule? I'll take that. Nothing like giving my boy Jeff a little bit more IQ. You know what? I'll do that right now. It's bored in my. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I actually am at the... Oh my god. You're telling me I have to, to take the goodbye... If I want to go over and get to the goodbye exit, I'm gonna have to go all the way back? Fucking hell. Yeah, I was able to get Jeff's IQ up. He's now a bigger brain than ever, but still... Still! <laughs> Fuck! I 100% bet you that the goodbye, quote unquote goodbye exit has to deal with these four items. 100% I can bet you that. Alright, I'm back here. Here's the goodbye exit. I'll take it. 
Let me go through it, please. Let me go through it. Can I not go through it? Tell me I came all the way here for nothing. All right, I'm out. What the hell? I just get immediately confronted by everybody. What is going on now? Ah, screw it. Dungeon Man is right behind me, so why not just throw everything at them? Oh, I forgot they're hitting the poor plush. What the plush do to you? What did the plush do to you? He did nothing, all right? He's just, he's just vibing. You guys are like, nah, I don't like the vibe. Oh, come on! No! Oh, <laughs> Dungeon Man attacks me with me as well? Man, what the plush do to you? That being said, 13,000. 13,000 XP, that's still quite a lot. So this guy follows me? I guess he follows me just like a plush. Yeah, I was never... Guys, come on, let's kill him, please. I was never able to find out where that goodbye exit leads to. I never did. Also, I'm still a little concerned as to why the hell Dr. And the Nuts decided. Hey, you know what? We should put this a brick road guy, like, straight into the dungeon himself. And better yet, how the hell did Brick Road end up here in Scarab? And better yet, why the hell does this guy not fuck off? PSI Shield Omega. That is Omega good right there. Actually, what does it do? What does it actually do? It's eye shield alpha, it blocks an enemy's PSI attack. It's eye shield beta, it reflects an enemy's PSI attack. And PSI shield omega just reflects it for everyone. Let's go, baby. That's what I like to see. This is the kind of music that I want Brick Roads to be producing. Mad beats right here. This is way better than this shitty dungeon theme or whatnot. Anyways, this is the only place I have to go left, so... Ah! Oh no! I can cut into palm trees! I cannot move. Well, if I cannot move, it is okay. Yes, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here. At my eternal resting place. Oh, are you just gonna fucking die or something? If it is impossible for me to move to the spot, do not worry about me. Please continue on. I don't know if I should be happy, I don't know if I should be sad, I don't know if I can even fight this guy over here, but whatever the case is, it was short-lived. I shouldn't think about it too much. What's good, Chief? A scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong and you can lose your health by wandering in a swamp across the river, even though you know it's a stupid idea. Of course I do! The swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine. Story if you have a submarine, eh? Well, Chief, I don't have a submarine. You don't have a submarine. And I should have seen that coming. I don't have a submarine. If this man's stuck, what do we do now? Submarine? I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. Oh my god. Again with the noise! <laughs> I'm sorry, Brick Road, but this is a crime that cannot be. that cannot go unpunished. It cannot go unnoticed. Ah, oh, fuck me! I didn't notice these guys! Alright, Brick Road, what do you got? There's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon that can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. It'll take you to the submarine. 
Don't make a mistake on which exit you take. You need to take the goodbye exit. I'll see you again. Oh, now you open the sign to the goodbye exit. What do we have over here then? We got another hole. We got another hole. And we have a present that I will gladly take. Talesman Ribbon. Assuming that is for Paula? Do I want to have this or do we want to have the lucky coin? Uh, I'll just put this on right now. I'll see the stats later because unlike the charm, I don't know about the lucky coin. I would, I would assume that the lucky coin just gives more luck. Paul is already pretty lucky. At a glance, 56 luck. It's still pretty stacked. What do we have over here? Set about telephone line in the dungeon? I wonder if that's controversial. Old vehicle collection. This is my secret hobby. Rick Road. Taxi with no engine? Beautiful, even though the thing doesn't run. I guess I can't use it at all. <laughs> Rusty bicycle. Rust is the perfect brake. Rick Road. Use it at all. This is a gift from Dr. Andonuts. Be careful how you use it. Not the uh, instant revitalizing device. I'll take it. Broken down old submarine. The yellow con the yellow color is purely coincidental. Right. The yellow submarine. The yellow color is purely coincidental. This is insurance carried out the submarine that Jeff fixed. Okay, this is just an event that I do not have the opportunity to move forward to skip or whatnot, so I'll just I'll just look at it. I'll just look at it and just give Twitter just a little bit of a check and see everything that I know and love crash and burn. I like to see, baby. I like to see. And now we're in blue water. <laughs> wrong with the purple water that we were in last time now we look like we're in swampy water I know that water I know that water through minecraft I could tell you that ring ring ah oh, yes I don't even have and I don't even have uh, my I don't, what am I saying here? I don't know. Monkeys run the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. Do you want to spend the night? I will take that. I so you hate how there isn't even... How there isn't even a way for me to look at the map. God damn it. You know what? This is, might be... This will definitely be a shorter episode. Usual. But I'll leave it right off for here for now. Just because this deep darkness jungle or whatnot, it kind of scares me. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Kind of like Dungeon Man last time. But anyways, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Memorial and whatnot. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.